Hi everybody! I know I haven't been uploading videos and posting videos since a few weeks now and there have been also no pictures since a few weeks. I know and basically I wanted to explain what happened. I did stop going outdoors since like basically also a few weeks. I just went out once basically to finally meet uh, one YouTuber I'm following and his name is Ted. I'll put the link of his channel and he, and he do like some really quite amazing trip and specifically I wanted to ask him about when he went up north with his van and so on. I had se several questions I wanted clarification on and you know at least meet him once. He's a super cool guy. Definitely check his channel and it goes hand in hand with what I was basically working on. Since a few weeks I'm on to planning my trip on up north this autumn and I think we can consider it as an expedition in a sense that it will last for two months. That's the plan. Plan is to start beginning of September and finishing beginning of November. I know it's not the usual timing to go there but that's what I like. I, I, I like you know kind of I don't want to do it like when there's people around too much. I mean I like people there's no problem with that <laughs> but I like cold weather by going in October I'm gonna be served with good cold weathers so just it's gonna be a challenge for me obviously going out outside the hiking season have been like uh, I will say way more complicated to organize than I thought that's basically what happened in the last few weeks I have been uh, planning and making my route and analyzing my route and rerouting and rerouting and being like you know I want to see different things I want to go through Sarek I want to go through Patialanta I want to reach the center of inaccessibility in Sweden which is in the middle of Patialanta Park I want to go through the Rapada land it's like so many things I want to do I want to I want to go up Kemnikaise and I want to go through up to Abisko and I want to do that on the same trip because I want to do that on the same trip and that's the challenge that's why it will last for two months if my pack will be lighter I will go I think for like a month maximum a bit more than a month but as I am going to carry all what I carry now like solar system drone cameras etc uh, and obviously all the gear needed for winter I'm adding this extra time I'm gonna take it easy uh, in a sense that if I have to do 20 kilometers, I will do 20 kilometers, but otherwise I will just go, you know, 10 kilometers per day. That's kind of the plan and some extra days in case, you know, it's needed. That's what I was like uh, planning on. It is not done. I still have things to handle. Specifically, uh, when I made the budget for it, I was like, okay, I need to get that. It is still a project. It's still, it is still under planning and you never know what happened but I really want to make it go right and I have only a few weeks left to basically prepare everything and when I say prepare everything it will be an adventure in itself there's a lot of things I will have to discover when I will be over there it will be an adventure in itself so all these plannings goes into okay remove all what you can do before trail so that when you are on trail anything you know like it goes easy and you can up the challenge you know part of it i want to climb Kemnekaise and to do that middle of october i have no clue what i'm gonna have maybe it's gonna be too many snow maybe i have i don't know i have no clue the good things is actually uh i have a friend that is coming to basically do it with me and uh, is also a youtuber we actually met in Marmo and he's now living up north and his name is Eric and I'll also link the, his channel below so if you want to see the area check it out and uh, and basically we planning to do that together to climb Kemnekaise and honestly I don't know what I'm gonna expect it's gonna be I mean just the whole trip is I've never been there I've never been in such in such environment and I'm quite excited about it. I'm like super excited. It's just, it's just the adventure in itself is gonna be like, is gonna be really an adventure. I mean, 
my mountaineering experience is pretty low. I'm just, I know that I'm pretty, I will be very careful. I'll, I'll just make sure I will not die. I, I don't say that I will not get into trouble. Like, uh, it's a very, there is a chance here that I'm getting into real trouble in the end of my trip. Meaning like too much snow and I cannot move and whatever, but I'm, uh, I think I can make it. And I, I, I think it's gonna be awesome. Everything so far on the planning is, is rolling well. There is a few main stop I have to handle. A cool thing actually, just aside of that, a, a cool thing is that I'm working out maybe to get sponsors on that, for that trail, uh, when I, for my videos on that. That would be pretty cool. I mean, just, just to have sponsors, just the concept of it is pretty, I'm, I'm interested into it. Actually, if you are interested, let me know. I can tell you more about the, about the plan. Funny story about where I am right now. I'll, I'll tell it in the end. What's for sure is that when I see the pictures taken from the ground of scenery where I'm going to go up north, like different pictures I've seen, I'm like, that is awesome. That is just amazing. If you Google uh, Rapadalen, I think that's how you pronounce it, Rapadalen is, is, is a place in the Sarek National Park and, and you look at the pictures and you're like, whoa. Now I'm just thinking, what about a drone there? What about taking height and just having all the mountains? It's gonna be awesome. It's just And just when I think of all this area, which are hard to reach with a drone in the sense that you have to carry batteries or whatever, or, or like me, like making like your own system, then I'm like, I'm like super excited. But anyway, I'll go back on uploading a bit more often. I actually have two videos which are actually ready. I just have to put a title and press publish. I'll do that certainly this week. Uh, and I will prepare some more videos so that while I'm over there, uh, there is still some something posting. And certainly my girlfriend is gonna take care of my Instagram account and pick some pictures and put some nice description. And uh, so this, you still got some content, but uh, know that this is what I'm working on. So any advice, you're feel free. You can, you can either comment in the video, contact me on Facebook. I'll keep you updated if it goes. I really hope it goes. It has been an adventure in itself just to plan it and just to organize different things. Anyway, uh, I was saying that I will tell you a story about where I am. If you look at the first outdoor video on my channel it happened in Sudorosen National Park on that video I get lost it was my first time when I was outdoors alone and um, I did all the mistakes you could ever did I basically went too late it was in, uh, in during the winter so sunset is pretty quick but I did not expect it I did not have a compass I did not have a proper map I did not have a proper phone with a GPS on it. I did not have a proper knife. I did not have, like maybe the only things I had was an overpacked bag with clothes uh, and, over, uh, and with a huge sleeping bag. And uh, water, yeah, that's basically all I had and just stupidity also, I would say. You know, there is a saying, good judgment come from experience. Experience come from bad judgment. And and uh, one of the one of the bad judgments I did at that time was like when I saw it was starting to get dark, I decided to take a shortcut. Yeah, of course, of course. I don't know the area. I don't have a map. I don't have a compass. I'm gonna take a shortcut. You know, you know. Of course, that's pure logic. If the trail go like that, I can just cross that. Like. Come on, why the trail go like that? I don't care, but I can just cross it. When I realized I got lost, basically it was starting to be pitch black. At that point I started to panic. I must say I did start to panic. I don't know if it's in the video, but I did start to panic for like 20 seconds. In this situation, you, anyway, you can panic as much as you want. It, it's not gonna solve anything, so. Cool down and uh, find out like uh, how the hell you're gonna find your way. When I went to take a shortcut, I went across the forest, okay? So I was in no real trail. I think it was maybe some marks, but it was not really a trail. 
And suddenly I found that trail here that you see here. So that one I was like, okay, I'm gonna stick to that because at least I knew it leads somewhere. And I think I came from that way. I had no idea really which direction I will go. And then there were that things here. Oh, I don't, I, one of those words I did not know it was the same place and that this was pointing at the direction to take. I was thinking that one of them is a point A and the other one is a point B. And that, you know, if you go one way, you go to one of those. And if you go the other way, you go to the other one. And that's what I was thinking of. And then I was like, okay, well, I remember I had to go, I think, to that one because that's where I had my bus and whatever, you know, like at that time it was like, and then I decided to go that way, which was the right way. But imagine it's, you have no experience of hiking, of outdoors. I literally went once with a friend outdoors uh, in the national park and, and, and just you are here in, in the dead of the night. I, uh, I forgot to say one thing. I did not have a proper flashlight. I had a flashlight, you know, small flashlight you can buy for like 20 krona or whatever. And it make like that much light, you know, like this much of light over, uh, over like a distance maybe of like, let's say, 10 meter. So 10 meter, I had that much of light that I could see what was, uh, that was, and you know, and you know, it's, it was a bit pitch black. So, you know, like going through trees and so on, and you're like following your way by, okay, I'm, I'm following, I'm, I'm not out and so on. Then after quite some wandering over on this path, because it's not a trail in itself, there is no marking, uh, I finally found back the Sconele then with the orange mark. And at that point I was like, good, I'm not moving out from there. And then the game was just to spotting the orange mark, going to the next, going to the orange mark, spotting the next one, going to the next one, spotting the next one, going to the next one. Next one. And if you know that trail, you know that at one point the, the trail pass really near to, um, to some kind of cliff. So it was like, okay, spotting the orange trail, spotting where is the hole so that you don't fall into it, spotting the way, spotting the orange trail, and then you just continue like that. And I managed to find the bus, the last bus, I think it was. I managed to catch it in time. <sighs> and I was like, okay, good. So now that this is done, and I actually got lost uh, for the first time and uh, for the first hike, uh, then I can, I think I can go back and learn from my mistake. And uh, that's, well, the rest, you see it on my channel. That's from that point on, I, I continued on. That was the story, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, learn from my stupidity at the time. Compass, map, always. And a flashlight, I will actually recommend it to have a good flashlight. That's the first things I bought when I came back to civilization. Well, that's all. And uh, I will try to upload the video during the week and uh, otherwise, certainly, See you when I'm back from Lapland, which is the area where I want to go. And uh, otherwise I keep you updated. And uh, just cross the finger that this happened. And if it happened, it's going to be awesome, whatever the outcome it might be. Uh, and I definitely will shoot video like I usually do when I'm on trail. So expect after after November, December, certainly when I will start editing this expedition, a lot of video about the area. I like a lot. Because two months of video, that's gonna be quite some content and I hope you enjoy it. So, on this note, have a good day and uh, I keep you updated on what's happening. Bye-bye. <laughs>